Today we pick up our Bible study in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. The words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16 is a reflection or a result of what he has instructed in Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Salt gives flavor so that things taste good. Light shining throughout the world allows people to see. The salt is the flavor of the gospel that Jesus taught his disciples. The light of the world is his disciples sharing the gospel with others. Jesus declares in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, quoting from the Holman Christian Standard Bible, In the same way, let your light shine before men so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. This is a command, promise, and example of being the salt and light of Jesus and his teachings to the world through our lives as followers of Jesus Christ. This verse also raises the question of gaining the favor of God through good works. Many people misunderstand this passage as being that by doing good works will assure a place in heaven. But the good works Jesus is referring to is reflective of one who has put their faith in him, as is his disciples in which he is speaking to in this passage, as we know from Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 and 2. We all can do good works without knowing Jesus as our Lord and Savior. But good works without a heart that is right with God through our salvation in Christ Jesus is keeping our faith in ourselves. The question is, if we can do good works on our own, then why did God have to send Jesus, being himself in human form, to this world? Dear Lord, we know that we are capable of doing good works. We all know that we are capable of letting our light shine through the good works that we do. The difference that we ask you to help us understand is the place of our hearts in doing the good works. Are we doing good works to bring praise and glory to ourselves or to you in our respect and obedience to you for saving us from sin through the gift of Jesus and the sacrifice he made for all humanity in his death, burial, and resurrection? You know our heart's deepest desires, and you know if we are seeking self-righteousness or the righteousness that only comes through putting our faith in Jesus as our Savior. May our righteousness be only from our faith in your love for us through the gift of salvation in Christ Jesus for all. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.